Goodyear. This is the Stepping Razor, the Art of War. We're there with you. And next Thursday, this is the final program for the year. Yes, final program. And you know, say, Bolipa will never reach us up. Give thanks for all who reach us up. And beyond, it wasn't very nice at all in many ways, but it was nice in other ways. So we give thanks for the moment, give thanks for the energy. Give thanks that you still out there listen to me. And I still have the opportunity to speak to you. Who I heal up all the ones them who come through with me during the year. Yes, who set up late at night. Like all the tailor last night. But when I ask him if if he might get any like all them I will keep a designer clothes you now and all them. So he say, yeah man, they know the funeral motor. I may mean, make a whole heap of jacket, you know, because the man they never usually wear them something there. Right? Through funeral, them start weird. I need to pop up on the radio. <laughs> I need to pop up when I hear the band say so. So, the man I make enough money because of funeral. You say, give thanks. Say, you have people out there who are doing things still. That way, what I call now, out of the realms of modern ways, because, you know, most men know them just put on their jeans and a polo t-shirt and him gone out. Well, funeral is a different thing because there's so much funeral. So much funeral out there. That man have to have on him white jacket. You know, see it and bow tie. <laughs> but we hope say the next year will be much, much, much better. You know, we hope say the murder in of ones and ones can be suppressed. And now we have forgot to do it because obviously Mr. Chang and him friend them in power do have a clue if you do them have all these modern technology advancement and all these this and that and all the things that we hear them have both of them have. And them have surveillance cameras and body cameras and all them things there that still you not know, stop the crime rate from going out of proportion. Yes, it still not stop it from going out of proportion. So we just hope that something, something got to give, man. Something got to give, really and truly. Yes, we're there with you and the stepping razor. Kind of warm, uh, warm. I know it could really look like it have a fall still, but why you keep keep cool yes i mean everybody i think pan goat a goat no no other time for goat you know last week was it well earlier on the week was the time for stay home and with your family and thing no it's a goat time now so everybody i look for goat all the clothes with them the pipier they might make sure they're still in the closet all uh, the data them who did have certain clothes pack up in them closet them and make sure say them mother not going to go take it out and wear it already because you know the mother them start wear the picture them clothes now even the grandmother them too you know because the grandmother them kind of get youngish like yeah more time you see all a woman now and she has to say she have two grand picnic you have to say you have two grand picnic yes because grand the, the grandparents them look young yes so them also are wear the picture them clothes too. And them have got some place where the picnic them now go. Believe you me, come in a little picnic go there, have a little party, I go with our friend them. Them have got some dance and a skin out. A skin, I can't forget the, the, the New Year's night when I drive through Stone Hill, I take a shortcut, go around the other side. And them block the road and the woman them jump up on my car, Rasta, and a skin out on the car. Mota Baru, Kabuda. I say, what is now? And I, just see, and I don't know, I don't know, look how young girl them, you know. You can't see them face, okay, even though them are this and eye that, you know. Sometimes the age showing at them face. Yes, the age showing at them face. And sometimes if them all, they have on any clothes, it show under them arm 
and pan them leg. Say them not really young like how them are going. You know, see, but people say he's young as you feel. Them people have feel younger than them pick me and them grand pick me. But people are going to have fun. They say have fun, you know, but remember, say, tomorrow is another day. The next day is another day. And you have some responsibility that you can't just left it upon the man continuously. You know, and a customer say, if you don't know, say, school so open, where they done by some eyelash and some extension where cause enough money. Enough money. So you wonder where them people get their money they from. Where their money they come from. That them data here yeah, in the garrison area, the man at the ghetto. When you see them address, the, you, my, my, you say you dress to push foot. <laughs> you dress, them dress to push foot. Believe you me. And I them see when I ball the time hard and things, you know. Them find a little boobs around the corner because the milk came out. And go buy certain things to them and them eyelash. If you come too near them, you're going to get a juke in your eye with it. Believe you, man, the fingernail go and clear out the saw. Oh gosh, man. Black people, we're in a serious situation. We don't take care away. Oh, we don't have no priority. We have priorities, you know, but we don't look about our priorities first and then deal with other things. It's not like other nations and races and people. When you look on them, they have priorities, you know. Yeah, especially if you if you reach certain age. These these women in Jamaica, I will leave at them in the garrison there. Them fees have them priorities that New Year's Eve night have come up and they must live on the waterfront I go in a one dance because five thousand dollars for going. They must have on certain clothes. Even if it means that them pick me up a whole lamp and the new shoes to go to school. And the book them and all them with them. Them I forget for them things because them want to look ready. Ready. And the thing with it, the, the thing with them I buy, you know, is all then it clothes, you know. Because some of them are just it's come like it's a, it's a, it's a bikini them have on. A wear go a party. Yes, bikini. Me tell you, you know, the woman them soon start wear belt. Yes, yeah, so them have on belt, I see them have a party. I don't understand it why. I don't understand. I mean I understand it, but you know, it's unbelievable. So, ladies, we are telling you, you know, priorities is very important. Find out what is your priority. The children going to school. Figure that out first. First. That me I say. Take a next break, second break. I yes, we there with you on the stepping ways are, you know. The church, the church need to do more, be more active in the country. We're not talking about the promise of them give the people them. We're talking about even how the politicians them are going. You know, them need to rebuke some of them politicians there. Yeah, man, them need to rebuke the politicians them because. The politician them get out of hand. Politician get out of hand, Rasta. Everywhere you turn now, somebody has a something where it's not to the standard of where you expect politician to really work with. And the church there, all them at door is preaching about pie in the sky and when you die and all these things where they have preached for much years now, thousands of years. Warm to all the things that we are going in our earth, yeah. You know, them don't lend them voice to we are going in a Venezuela. We are going in a Israel, especially Israel. You know, you didn't mention nothing about Sudan. You know, you didn't mention nothing about Democratic Republic of the Congo. All these things is like it don't concern them. 
more than for promise people pie in the sky continuously that you're not going to get no but after you die. Activity is why we have body and movement in the body. And we have our head and our brains and we have thoughts in our brains that we should really deal with certain things that is confronting the people no, you know, you know, none of them are ball out about the water condition, the road condition. You want them not, them not use road. Church people, you pass, you no know, use the road, them. Sometimes you might drive with them, can't splash you. And I say, Oh, sorry, Sister Agnes, you want to drive to church? That time don't splash you already, you have to go and go change your clothes. Them not respond, them not involved in and none of them something there. And none of them something there no catch them. Look at all the road, them all the road them stay. You can't believe the road stay so in our country we have built up pure skyscraper, you know. I scrape the sky. How so much building I go up and the road them is in a deplorable state. The transport system. The transport system. We don't hear none of them come on the radio and make no appeal and no talk to the people them and say, watch out, he's up. You know? Them, them just dead in them like a cocoon. I preach about pine sky and tights and all these things. The tights. The Bible tells people say get tights to write it and them. From 4,000 years now, they are collect tithes still. For what? What them collected it for? To add on a building for them house, some of them. They need to get involved, critically analyzing the physical, the physical appearance and thinking of the people them outside of the church. We can't just, we can't just go on like say, we're not a part of the Jamaican society. You separate yourself. You only talk to the congregation when they come on Sunday or Saturday. And then you collect them money and you promise them again good living after they die. And the people them sleeping. Them now wake up and realize eh, this promise of a next place. That none of them who are telling you about it ever go yet. None of them who ever experienced it yet. They must tell you some four thousand years story, three thousand years story, two thousand years story. And you who are live right now, in at this time, yeah. You pick me, need for go to school. You know, see, you need for go buy eyelash. So all these things where you need for do. You can't go to the past and go ask him about it. Come go to the say, sister, just have faith, man. The Lord will take care of your faith. I see something that I deal with. It's just amazing when I look upon it, I have to repeat it. There is a, a precipice, two mountainside, two hillside, I must say, where you can't cross over because it, it, you, have, you have to put something there to cross over it. And the, the Chinaman come and him pull fall to a white and reach on the other side. The white man come and him get a piece of, of wood, flat piece of wood and, and drop it to the other side, touch the other side. And him walk across it. The black man come and him stand up at the edge and a pray. Him a pray for reach cross. There are two set of people them 
physically do something to make the move to go across. One pole vault and one drop piece of wood and walk across. The black man stand up there and pray. And that is where them have way. That is where them have way. You know, pray for what you want. He will give you everything that you need. Then if it was that way, why we have so much people that suffer? Not only in our Jamaica, but in the world. You have to take yourself in hand and be responsible for yourself and your loved ones. How can you say you love God who you cannot see, yet still you cannot love who you can see? You have to love who you can see first because who you can see is a manifestation of who you don't see. I wonder if you get the drift. Who you can see is a manifestation of who you cannot see. So what is the problem? We have to show the, the kindness and the generosity to ones who you can see. Because we are all manifestation of that, what them call being. And it's useless to continue to do what past will tell you to do and experience something that you never experienced yet, that you will never experience. We're going to come forward is news time. And now the details. The police are implementing several traffic changes for the annual fireworks on the waterfront in downtown Kingston slated for Sunday, December 31. At 4 o'clock p.m. on Sunday, several intersections will be closed, such as Port Royal Street, Church and King Street, Orange Street, Princess and West Street, Pecan Street, and the Ocean Boulevard. However, two-way traffic will be permitted on some roadways to facilitate entrance and exit to and from parking areas only. During the staging of the show, hundreds of persons usually converge along the Palisados Main Road to view the fireworks leading to traffic congestion. The police say in order to mitigate against this, they will implement measures such as no vending and controlled parking. Motorists are being asked to comply with the instructions of the police. A 46-year-old man succumbed to injuries he sustained during a motor vehicle collision in Montego Bay, St. James yesterday. He is Marlon Allen of Woodland District in Hanover. Reports are that at about 6.15 a.m., Allen was driving his motorcycle in Montego Bay when upon reaching the intersection of Alice Eldemeyer Drive and the AGS Coombs Main Road, the driver of a motor car disobeyed a traffic sign and collided with the motorcycle. Allen, his pillion rider, and a passenger in the motor car all received injuries and were taken to hospital where he succumbed. The pillion rider was treated and admitted while the other person was treated and released. Former Prime Minister Bruce Golden will lead a 10-person Commonwealth expert team assigned to observe the Bangladesh general elections set for January 7 next year. The cross-functional team of experts was appointed by Commonwealth Security General Patricia Scott Patricia Scotland, rather, following an invitation from the Bangladesh Election Commission. She said the team's deployment demonstrates the Commonwealth's continued commitment to supporting electoral democracy in the 56 member countries and safeguarding the rights of the people of Bangladesh as they take part in these pivotal elections. The expert team, consisting of persons from Cameroon, India, Africa, Sri Lanka, Trinidad and Tobago, and the United Kingdom, will consider all aspects of the election process and provide their observations on whether the elections are conducted in line with democratic standards. Mr. Golden said, it is an honor and privilege to have been asked to lead the team and to once again serve the Commonwealth. 
Siva Singh, Siva, Siva Singh. So, as we say, we all take some phone call. But we still have to talk about where we really say, I go on amongst the people, them, and for the people, them. And we realize, say, it's almost like the people them get controlled in a very strange way and them don't even know that them get controlled. Yes. You're doing things every day and he says you doing it of your own way, but really and truly, because a, a whole heap of ones get up the same time every day for take this bus or drive every day for go to our workplace every day and sit down there for eight hours every day and go back and do the thing over and over again. Oh, cause that to be like that, really. Okay, yeah. That's me? Yeah, man, are you, man? Oh, I, I was waiting to talk to uh, Muta Baruka, right? I mean, I'm Muta this man, talk. I'm okay, this. are we on the air live? Talk no break, but not talk All right. secret. All right. I, I, I didn't even know that we were on live while I was waiting. All right. You touch a number of topics, right? You, you talk about a number of issues, right? Yes. And one of them you spoke about was the church. Yes. One. Yes. And what, what were you really saying about the church where... As if you were, say, developments are concerned or something I like that. I am saying that the church, the church should be more involved in the everyday life of the people them, rather than on the past Sunday, them tell them about heaven and pie in the sky and when them dead, them going to go to heaven and all these things. There are certain things that confront the people them that need to be addressed. And when we look upon what is happening in our society to them, the church kind of isolate themselves from these things. That is what we are talking about. The church should be more active in our everyday life. For instance, right. we are talking about all the traffic steer. You know, what the, 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 the police, the police, the, 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 the taxi man them, road, all of these things. I think that the church should be involved in those things too. All right. I, I think you're giving the church a responsibility that is a little bit heavy for them where traffic and the taxi situation is no concerned, no we right? never said they must stop the traffic you know listen no 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 i'm not talking, talking about, about stopping it commenting on it commenting on the idea what is happening in the society that's what i'm talking about commenting. so in 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 essence you're saying that the church is not speaking out aloud to the issues that yeah. are most troubling to us right yeah that is what I'm all saying. right disagreement on that path right where, okay. where your statement and i love you respect you and i love your show right but I think, I think, first and foremost, that the law system should be more active where these things are concerned, especially the roadway, right? I think that the police department should take more command where traffic and the taxi operators... That is what I am saying, the church. It's like what you say, no. That is what we should be here, the church, saying. That is what I'm talking about. What you say, no, is exactly what I said. That the church should be like, oh, you talking now. Yeah, but maybe we're giving the church a responsibility. No, no, not, no. Not it's, every, it's every citizen responsibility. Every citizen responsibility. So, just like how oh, you talking now, you defending the church and not giving the church responsibility. That is exactly what they're talking about. You should be hearing them on the radio every day talking about what is happening. I tell them for God fix the road. And I tell them for God go drive that's a bit good. I was talking about make them voice be heard, like my voice. My voice is being heard, right? So since since your voice, since your voice is so strong, right, and so powerful, no, our, voice, our voice, our, our voice, our voice is so strong. Our voices, yeah. but um, since you have the platform and the medium to be heard, the church have the platform. The church have the platform. The church have the platform. Listen. I think we should make an alarm where the lawman is concerned in the operations of the roadway. Let me throw one rock in there then in order to help the church and to help the lawman. Do you think where the roadways are concerned, 
we need more lighting on our roadways where the operation uh, uh, of transportation is concerned. Don't, don't you think that is something that we should talk about? God uh, is uh, what, uh, heavy, Reggie, heavy, heavy, heavy. Huh? You, you're not saying nothing different from what I'm saying. You know, that is what I'm talking about. That just like how you look sound like he's a church man. That is what the past and them should be talking about. Calling the radio station and them and giving them two cent piece to but, light but on the road. But even if the pastors, even if the pastors call the radio station and make their appeal, right, and create an alarm, if they don't have the security forces to back up what they're saying, to implement the act that they want to see happen, it won't make much sense because these people are so lawless and the only people that they sometimes truly respect are the lawmen. Well, make we shut them out and those and all that. Make, no, make all of which no, plan you. No, no, we're not saying that. No, we're not call the radio that. station to say what you said then. We are saying that. Yeah. If you are saying that the church should make an appeal, then we should also give the church some strength, some kind of reinforcement that when the appeal is made, it can be reinforced by statutes of the law because these people only go by what the lawmen allowed and what they enforce. Your heart don't skip a beat until you see a policeman. True or false? You don't drive on the side of the road or stop driving on the side of the road until you see a police motorcycle or you hear a siren or you see the blue light. So even if the pastors and the church members come out to create an appeal without the security forces being there back it is, it would have no effect on these kind of citizens. There has to be somebody there putting them in handcuffs. There has to be somebody there taking away their automobiles. There have to be somebody there implementing. So why the church don't come out and say that? Then why the church, then, look what you say now, why the church don't come and say that? You know, put right. them in a handcuff, do that, do that. Why all the church right, so don't let, come let's out and say that? Let's make an appeal then. Let's make an appeal well, to let the let churches. That about. Make the appeal right. as a church, man. Let, make let, the appeal. Let, let, let's make an appeal to the churches then. Yes. And then we're going to ask the church to ask the lawmen to come out and be their backative because the some church needs some kind of Some of the policemen go church. Some of the policemen them go to church. Them want to hear them pass and talk to them. So this is what I'm saying. Let's yeah, no, put it in the form. Let's, 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 let's make, make it a yeah. new implementation then. That we are we are, we are making this alarm today to ask the church and the yes, local police department that is to come out. saying. Me Three, four, the same times, side. four, five times a week then. Me I hear the same side, Bridget. Me I hear the same, same side. All right. Hey, here's the last appeal I want to be, hear you make then, Muta. No, you and like me, you and me, you and me, you and me. We make it. Yeah. I would like, I would like for us, not today, but one of the days next year when you're on radio, I want to talk about the issues of fatherlessness. We have been speaking about that. You can't call after, you can't, you can't call a little more and talk about it, you know, you don't have to wait till next year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I find this to be a very serious I have issue. Wrote, you know, know, you know. It would be nice if you could call back, you know, because we're going to take a break, you know. So All right, I'm going to shout you back. Maybe some to four, back. some to four, right, some to only so. All right? I'm going to shout you back. I'm going right. to have a conversation about this deadly issue. Of course, issue. that is what I'm talking about. As a, as a church man, that is what I'm talking about. Certain issues they don't hear the church a, a, a shout out about, and this is what you're doing now. So I'm so uh, glad that you're listening. I'm going to call back up. I'm going to call you back up. All right, sir. Gauge. All right, sir. Give thanks. Yes. Break time. Yes, as I said, we'll take some phone call, you know, but in between the, the phone call them, you know, we'll play the music. So we're going to connect you with this music here. Money is a job, Everybody, yes, Ian. Ian, the great motor Baruka. Blessed. Happy belated. Yeah, man, give thanks, man. Yeah, man. How the cola treat yeah. you? Man? Say that again? How the cola treat you? You know, say no cola, no go on. Come like them tony tongue, no cola at all, no go on. <laughs> I feel real, real hard from yesterday. No cola, no go on, yes, sir. All right, sir, give thanks, man. Mm. Yeah, man. Oh, they are watch them, you know. We are trying to tell the people and say, yo, that we unite, you know. 
Yeah. And the man and the woman, them, if you and the woman now uh, get along, you just know, say, I saw it go. And just move on. Yeah. And guess what? It don't make no sense here. Uh, if you try, if you and a person have a youth together, and you decide, say, you are going to take out one of the persons, there's a strong possibility that your child has like left become an orphan. Yeah. So, if two people now get along, just start raising teeth. You understand? I have to remember saying, you know, the, them feelings are temporary, you know. So, you see, if you have a woman and you are broke up and 10 years down the line and have a youth together, when we, when we have something to talk about, even 10 years down the line. So, just, no, say, I swear it, though. You understand? I and I got me to tell the people. I, I don't know why children have to come in at them something. I, I think I try to wrap me around it. I don't know yeah. why children have to come in at it. You know them here, them? I don't know either because I don't know. Oh, you can't say it love somebody and then you're lying. Yeah, I, I understand it. Yeah. I don't understand it, yeah. you know? But to each his own and everything I understand, you know? I mean, I really want to understand certain things. And guess what? <laughs> me now confirm to certain things. Yeah. So you can't try and make me understand sir you know things say i said for god mm -hmm. yeah, man, yeah man me and the little one there me and just some father duty in the evening you know but go and pick up all these things done ca colleagues you know yeah. me have a little two-year-old and bright like a button it's hard to see his mother and his big sister yeah man we read it we start read that page at night time when he might go in bed i saw it going on but no, no, not where I go on, but we just are reading. I love books. Of course, of course. You know, I love books. Yeah. So I uh, guess that they are where I try. We, we, we give him some book where we understand something where we are, where we are see, yeah. where we are do, but then we read some bigger books around him and him. Okay. You know, because it's a, it's a game plan we have. One book lead to the next. You understand? Yeah, man, I see him say it go. Yeah. You know? And big up yourself, the great Puerto Baroque, you know. Keep on, keep on doing the work, you know. Continue, and next stop. year again, we you see. And all of his things, son, are one unity, one love. And big up my father, little John, and my mother, and Miss Linda, everybody. Big up the whole East King, son. And my sister, Annie, Fireball, Starry, Larky, Sprat, Christy. Big up on yourself. All right. Thanks, Strong legs, my son, say, man. Big up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, more time. There was a gift out. Yes, today I'm with you. And the... Okay, I'm right, going to take the call. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Daddy Mota. Yeah, man, how you do? So, as I had said before, I, I wanted to touch the topic of fatherlessness, right? Okay, are you still? All right, sir, go on. Because I find fatherlessness being an issue in life, right? Yeah. For 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 an entire people, not just a culture or a community. Mm. I I was thinking about some of the schools, right? If yeah. it would be a, if it would be allowed, and if some of us adults or people that are not even adults, but adult male who will play the role of a father to our community, our yeah. children, meaning children that are not even your biological child. Yeah. I find it very interesting that a major part of our crimes and defeat and default in our cities, countries, and communities is derived from the cause of fatherlessness. I realize that there is a certain level of value that comes with a father. And if, it, if it's not highlighted in our communities, in our homes, in our countries, I don't think we will ever be able to solve certain crimes. And so I find fatherlessness as an issue. The gentleman before me just now on the radio, sound like somebody you know, he talked about... Um, I'm two baby, year old. I'm two year old. Baby mother or something like that, right? And and something about children he, he talks about. Yeah. I was thinking that if we male, we men, who consider ourselves to be a father, car being a male does not make you eligible to be a father, you know. Having, having you know, testosterone and having the organ to produce children doesn't make you a father. Yeah. A father is an office that you are active 
in the life of a child, whether you produce the child or another sperm donor produce the child, it makes you a father if you're active in the children or in that child's life. And I find where we are short, even in our own family, where we men are not fathering children. And when some of the children come to be of age that shows their purpose for living, become successful, then we want to join them and say, oh, I may grow him, you know, I may grow him, and grow with me, I'm like, blah, blah, blah. But we never help to father them. We never mentor them when they need mentorship. We never father them when they needed fatherhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my man, that's how that's so I was thinking if some of us could volunteer in our communities or even outside our communities to the schools. Yeah. The schools is consist of a multiplicity of cultures that need a multiplicity of numbers where fatherhood is concerned and we're not serving in that capacity. I saw on the TV where the girls group were having a melee, they were warring, the girls were beating on each other. And I find that there is a fault in our culture and our community that there were not enough fathers to even step in for the young girls to stop them from destroying themselves. themselves. And I find, no, I was saying to myself, where did that derive from? And you would be surprised that it's not only from home, first home, That's where you live and sleep. But second home is where you're being schooled. The schoolhouse is a home that is an unbelievable home. Why it is an unbelievable home is because it is filtered by a multiplicity of cultures. Are you you with me there? So we we have... We have... We have people from different sects of society that um, convene in these schools and you get to find out that the East is saying we're better than the West and the West is saying we're bigger than the North and the North is saying we're richer than the South. And so we're finding people who are supposed to be a family fighting against each other, destroying, stabbing, and killing each other. And then when they leave the schools to go to their separate homes, there are no fathers in the home. And what is so devastating and so unbearable is that we find women with more than one child or multiple children that the male counterparts are not being supportive to these women. And these women with this amount of children and have to hold down a job in order that to supply the children with financial and other needs cannot manage without the male counterpart playing their part as a father. And there we have an issue with our children and we are trying to give the children the responsibility of taking care of themselves and they do not know how to do so because they were never trained, they were never taught, they were never mentored in how to operate all right, outside. So, all right, so the next question I know is how we're going to get the fathers them to be more active in the family structure what what can be done to facilitate that you know father in the house as you mentioned or what, what do you think should be done This is where we now are going to take the responsibility to make the appeal to call some of these men out of their their single life while trying to have a multiplicity of, of people around them to come make the sacrifice to be a part of their homes and communities. So we have to walk away from the domino tables. We have to walk away from the gambling dens. We have to walk away from the kind of liquor that we're putting in our bodies that giving us another second sense of thought to be selfish. We men have to appeal to them to join the children in their schoolhouses because it's one of the best places to catch them because most of the children have to go to school. Not all, but most. So if we could take time, some kind of time out during the work week to meet for an hour, an hour and a half, 
three, four, five of us at a school. It doesn't have to be your favorite school, but any school within our vicinity, our close proximity to where we work and live, to go play a part in getting the children to come together to understand that the purpose they were born for and created for needs to be identified with the support of parenting, fatherhood, because they need that kind of support. I think in our culture here today, most men think it is their sons that need their fathers, but I have news for you. These girls need their fathers a little bit more sometimes, more than their brothers. And we men, we get excited to take care of the boy and we leave the girls to be taken care of by their mother. But I have news for you. These girls need their fathers more than serving their their brothers. Because the only time a young girl can learn to respect their male counterpart is from what they were instructed by their fathers and how to operate as a young lady with a young man. The fathers have to give these instructions. And with them not having that kind of a platform, they act out of their own desires, selfishness. They don't we have a situation. Really we, have a situa- we have a situation in a Jamaica where the family is not like our families used to be because children have children, and when that child grow up and feel say it is a father because they have a picnic, them still behave and go on like say them is picnic too. So the problem is that children have children, and the child is a father. What do we do now with that child who believes he's a father? When he's not working, wait, and he's not working, and then he go to some on the road and police shoot him, and there goes that father. But this is what I'm saying. This is where we know as men who have a little bit more than some upstairs join yeah. hands and are together and, and start... Yeah. And start in our Community. communities yeah. these platforms, target the schools to say, your name is not McGregor, my name is Mr. Brown, but I want to play the role of Mr. McGregor, since you are McGregor and McGregor is absent. I want to play Mr. McGregor's role and give them some kind of mentorship in their school rooms in their cafeteria. So we men have to come together to make the sacrifice to be the fathers for the fathers that are absent. And it's the only way we are going to reconstruct the platform of fatherhood to help these young people who are having children Children. getting impregnated from a natural cause. I agree with you. How to operate as a father because the the donating the sperm doesn't make you a father. Serving the office. Serving the office. Being there to give the support. Being there to lay the rules down. Being there to enforce the rules. Being there to lead them. Being there to nurture them. Being there to support them. Being there to correct them. Being there to reprimand them. Being there to lead them. That's what makes you a father. Being (laughs) Being there to love them. Being there to love them. Love yeah. is actually not a word, you know. Most people don't no, even no, know. No, we're not debate if that word or something. Let's just say it is something being that there we to do. To love them. To love to them. To love them. It yeah, is something some that you father do. Father who can love them pick me. And yeah. this is where we are going to be able to make some changes. No, we have to come in and say, listen, come. Let's do this thing together. Call two people from the soccer field. Call two people from, from, from the churches. Call two people from here and say, yo, we're going to spend an hour down there at the school and we're going to talk to the children yeah, them yeah, about yeah. purpose, their purpose in life. But, but, but Muta, do, do you know that most grown men who call themselves adults today don't know what their purpose in life is? I don't know. I don't know if them know. Ask, just ask somebody in your community, what is your purpose in life? They're going to tell you they don't know. What is your purpose in life? My purpose in life is where my gift is. My gifting is to implore, to instruct, 
My gifting is to cook a proper meal to feed a generation of people. My gifting is to mentor. Okay. My gifting is to lead. This is my purpose in life because a man's purpose is tied to his gift. And most people don't know what their purpose in life is. We're derived from not knowing poverty. All right, when a child don't know. Somebody is, 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 others uh, want to call. Uh, uh, we get a uh, long uh, run and we give thanks for the, the contribution still. And we link again, you hear? Yeah, man, of course, of course. Highly. Yes, we're there with you. It's your turn, you know. Your turn for say what you want to say. This is the last program for the year. And we are turning over the program to you. We are turning the program over to you. Okay. Yel. Yel? Yeah, yes, Buddha. Blessed man. Yeah, man. We are. You're the man. You're the man. You're the man. You're man. Yeah, man. I think you got a Ukraine. No, man. I know you know me, but you know you know me name. Me name will say, yeah? No, me know you. I will be able to say, no, man. Me don't meet you personally already, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So you do, man. Boy, thank God for life, you know. You know, we're there. All right, sir. So what do you say today? Hey, me just a yell up, you know, my brother. Oh, yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. I want to yell up all those people in Mount Providence District in Clarendon. All those IRFM listeners. All right. So what do you do all the while we could hear from you? Sometimes I try to get on the line, man. I'm difficult. Okay. But you don't yeah, switch man. channel. You switch channel, probably. Eh? You switch channel. You don't switch no, channel. No, man. I refer my my station, man. All right. Yeah, I don't know why you. I refer, man. All right, sir. Yeah, All man. Right. Take care of my brother. I wish you yes, happy yes, New Year yes. when it comes. Yeah, yeah, man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Yeah. Respect Muta. Yes. The bridge in there. Long time I call station, you know. Believe you me. We always glad to hear him. We're glad to hear him, believe you me. So as we are saying, we are taking the call them, you know. We're taking the call them, and in between the call them, we're playing the music, relevant music. But you know, say, when you really get right down to it, you know. I will he probably grow up without, without father, including myself, yeah. But we make sure, we make sure, say, we did it for my people, them. Yeah, man, we make sure some of the for my people, them. I know we see them grow up now, I've picked me. There's no, you know, long, long, far relationship when you come on to parenting, you know. We are talking about, like, father always go away and I leave. Them pick me. And when you think, say, them, like, my book up a whole part of my England, I'm like, 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 them left them pick it on at Jamaica and them up at England not doing nothing. Mother have other pick me up there. That's all them do. And you have some man who boasts or have how much pick me. We, 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 we talk about this all the while, you know. We talk about this all the while. Man who boasts about how much pick me up. Can you have a man who has plenty of pick me? For so much different woman. And them feel good about it. He feel good about it. And he not take care of them because the woman them all over the place who have the pity of them. And him himself don't live with none of them. Our man can't have someone pick me and live with none of the pity of them. No arms up the pity of them and say, you're my pity me. Or, you know, like our all holiday or so now. You have a big pick me out in. Fathers, it's a serious thing. The black woman find you guilty. Yes, guilty of not taking care of your picnic them. Yes, them need to have a law to kill us, Papa. Because there must come a time when if you can see you need to do certain things, then you have someone there or a, or a body of people there to take that into consideration and do something for just like all them have family court where you go a family court them say all right you're going to pick the woman this and this that is not enough that is not enough for your court draw down and say all right you must give the woman one or twenty thousand dollars a month for this and this and that that is not enough 
the presence of the father is important to the scheme of the thing the presence physical presence when i talk about phone call present or whatsapp present when i talk about the physical presence of the father even if the father and the mother doing nothing even if the father and the mother doing a nothing that even if the father of a next woman him suppose you can't go tell the woman where him dealing with at the moment say him go look for him pick the them and spend some time with him pick the them and that's what me I see it, you know. And that's what me I see it. Because there's no way. No way I could have my wife. And me have my pity them out there. And because I know my wife pity them, she could tell me, say, when me I go there far. She can't go tell me that. She's not mad. No. You have an obligation. Obligation. To make sure so your children them is okay you know this society i manage rank the society are rank everywhere you go the place smell and we need to wash it off the rankness and somehow we need we, somehow we need a bath <laughs> somehow we need a bath that is what we really need to wash off all the craziness we are going in the system here, so. And take responsibility. That is what we are talking about. Yes, El. I try to see it. Blessed man. Yeah, who is that? Yes, sir. Yeah, what are going on, right? Stepping razor. <laughs> yeah, you're sharp like sharp, sharp, sharp. Stepping razor. Yeah, I won't leave, I won't leave, I won't leave, I won't leave. I think now, now you're here and um, now listen to all these brethren that I talk about the father and, and I talk about the church thing and all of them things there. But mm. we know who church and state is. We know what church and state is. So what different will we now go expect the church to go come out and lash out against certain things and stand up again because what? At the state, I give them them, I give them all of them, 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 them all of one. Then oh, when them have demonstration against homosexual, them come out, uh, the world of them pack up out of the tree, them... Oh, that. Oh, the, 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 the church. The church. Huh? Yeah, the church, yeah. When the, oh, 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 them have them and treat them. When, when them have them and treat them, gay people, them come out in a them thousands for them and treat. And then why? Then why do you set a church people come? Then I make an annex. I think it looks stupid because I make set a church people them. I'm married. I'm married. No, 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 we're not about no next set. No, 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 we're not about no next set. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. next set. Me say, yeah. you have churches. Mm -hmm. Based upon what you are saying, them now come out. Me I tell you, say, anytime them plan a march, them did the other day, well, not the other day, but recently. Out of a tree, black up. Yeah, we're not about the next one, they're going do it. You know, we're talking about the one, they will do it. We demonstrate. Yeah. So it's not like, say, you don't have people. We are doing certain things, but them need, as we did say at the beginning of the argument, them need to come out and make them voice be heard, heard more than just some things of biblical proportion or, or yeah, religious I, proportion. Yeah, because them have them have the people in the ears, them have people in the ears, and, and them have people them attention. Yes. And they need to make sure. And that may I say? Yeah, and, and, and another thing, even. Even what he got to tell you, the teacher about um, ask raise a pay, raise a pay and things. Yeah. yeah. And me find me look when it's away and I say, but if they might ask raise a pay and at the same time, they might get them more raise a pay if you teach the same colonial curriculum. See me? Mm. How is that? And they ask you raise a pay if you continue to teach it. Well, it, it, it might look, they might look. We know say it's not easy for them to challenge it like that. Or, 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 yeah. But it don't look good. It don't look good. And them get it raised up here and, and at the same curriculum, curriculum will change. At the same, at the same Bokima. And, but look into it. You see, even the same thing we are talking about the youth them and the father and the, the father and the deputy the youth them. It's like a recycling this trench, you know, when the father gone and reopen the plantation and all the two weeks him get to come look for the mother and the picnic them. I mean, the two weeks up him, I forget about the boat or the army, I mean, I'm 
on the bus or head back on the train. You understand? But them turn it in a different way out there, so now them flip it in a different way. Them, them are use this as a magazine thing, I just say, eh? I'm on a bus. How much you to have? And yeah. how much pick, how much deal my time have? Yeah, but you know, it's, 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 a, it's a terrible situation. Terrible yeah, situation. Yeah, because yeah. you know, you know, you know that too. You know yeah. that too. Because it was, it was like that. When my, that, how you think them come with vocation? How you think them come with vocation? List? And when the man, the, them get two weeks, you go look for them family. And say, and take a two weeks, you go look for them family. And it's just like, okay, they, in, the, in the plantation. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a serious situation. And as I said, how much of the school them, Marcus Garvey teaching? Because I'm an, I'm an, a long, I'm an, I listen to you a long time in the movie. Yeah, a long yeah, time. So I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 so we there and we are observe and we are observe and we are observe and we are listen and we are gather all information, all information, all information we can get from all source and all source. Yeah. And therefore, uh, from this, you know, we pick all the ins- we get inspiration. So we know we watch and we are listening. We still are listening. I listen yeah. and I listen to a lot of ones and ones that we have the platform certain way and the ear wave and certain things. We not hear, we not hear them at them at them at God. But you know, even Marcus can have a black star linership. The man yeah. with them right now, the man them right now, you know, have more money than Marcus can have. Marcus can have a peace time, you know. We put yeah. them up at the black star linership on the sea right now. I'm yeah. more than one. The man, the man, the man, Marcus. Oh my goodness, man. Divine Majesty. Yes, yeah, right, so, sir. and may I show you a thing, Muta? You remember, you know, I listen to say, you know, when all educated spiritual black people come together, that's when the world will come together. Africa come together. The world will come together. Africa yes. will come together. And, and you know how me know that? You see him one. And you see him one. You speak. I mean, never read that. And you see him one. Me, you speak of that. So, yeah, man. Let him know the same, man. Him say. Yes, 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 yes. So, I, I think I'm going to say then, when, when you know if um, them spiritual educated black people, you know, if them, um, you know, I didn't extend 1,000 years before them ban. No, no, no. You're going <laughs> far, though. Anyway, we have to move now. We have to move. That's right. Yeah, long live Africa. Long live the black man and woman. All the while. Yeah, man. Get down. Every day and every night. Every day and every night. A country. That's why you have to be here. So, no, this is because I was a young girl, too. And I hear them used to complain when I was a town. And I come a country from the Oakland. So, I find out that I like them and tell Mr. Baraka. I pay a blame game like a moot. Um, where you go, sir. I play them game, them up here on here. Stop yeah, it, man. Yeah. And do the right thing. Yeah, but man. respect and thanks again here, Mr. Baruka. Yeah, man. Give thanks, man. Give thanks. Yeah, I go and plant some food. I'm big up, Miss Cabo. I'm big yeah. up, I'm a dear lion name. Do I swear to man? All right, you sir. Me? A man has a respect. And keep on doing what you do, Mr. Baruka, because you're right. I advise that. I'll be All right, since you since since listen to me, Black Attack, I'm going to play one from the Black Attack. I'm here when I pick it up, lick it, it's something I like that. I don't want them to have a drop, man. No, I don't want to listen to them never play, man. Just listen, listen. Yes, yeah, yeah. Good afternoon. Ah, how are you doing, Mama? <laughs> I'm good. Where is the place where I'm playing? Oh, 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 gosh, man, more than that, though. Uh, more than that, though. You have no Jays over there? You have no Jays over there? No, I have the bleach. Okay. Well, I'm Jesus said again. I don't know. <laughs> a long time ago, nobody said about Jesus. Jesus. Let me ask you a question. They still have Oval Tina Milo? They still have Milo. They still have Milo. They still have Oval Tina. But you want to drink them something there? Okay, okay. A long time ago. No, but I know them still have Milo, but I'm not sure about the Oval Tina. Okay. They still have Betty Condensed Milk? Yes. But okay. I don't know about them there again. No, it was milk all the while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, so glad to hear from you, man. It's Tina, no, it's Tina, no. Now I'm a soft Yeah. First time when your granny bust, you know, they them have them open away, you open the two, two, make the, the, the one side and you open the next side. Yeah, when you, you punch it all. Yeah, when you, when you hold it up, so you know, the milk hardly ah, come out, you know, nobody yeah, if you ever do that. Yeah, because I put it on bread, and you used love milk and bread. Yeah, I ah, know if you ever do that, now you hold your face with up with milk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's right there. 
Anyway, yeah. I'm called for congratulating you on the wonderful job you're doing. Okay. And may you have the strength and help for the 2024 but yes. continue. Yeah, I'm put on the armor. I'm yeah. put on my armor. Trust me. Yeah, put on your armor. <laughs> yes, it's like a warrior fight, man. <laughs> Not in a lie. Trust me. Without you, more time on the radio, we never know where I'm going. Okay. Thank you for enlightening enlight me on certain yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. And, and I really appreciate listen. you. Give thanks to so long and listen uh, late at night when your wife, your, your husband, why you come in. Uh, Yes, sit down there and listen to me. Make him get vexed with me. I mean, when I go bed. Yeah, but him not get nothing. Oh, you know that. You can't listen to me and I give you something. <laughs> Chuck out of this place. Hello, yeah. Bless up yourself. Yeah, man, I agree. Give thanks. Give thanks. See and bless up yourself. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. All right. Cool. <laughs>